I will be covering two determinants and Ronit will uh, sum it all up mm. together with the other two. So uh, the first determinant which was mentioned, is kind of summing up all what Dixon mentioned, is called history. Yeah, well, the first determinant they call history, which actually uh, has different aspects. Uh, one of those is old way or established way of doing things. Actually, when you try to introduce knowledge sharing into an organization where the knowledge sharing kind of uses not Web 2.0 things or is not using anything for knowledge sharing or does not knowledge sharing at all, you will have some obstacles which is uh, related to history of this organization. Uh, uh, actually, when you have uh, a long history of doing things in the old way, and you have some related attitudes and people growing older in this organization, you actually have something built into DNA of organization. And when you try to do introduce something, actually we are trying to change something. So be uh, mindful that you are trying to change DNA. It is a very deep thing. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, you would ask why, what George Bush is doing there. Uh, actually, you know this old saying that uh, a bird in a hand wears two in a bush. Uh, actually, uh, Richard Thaler uh, has developed a theory which is kind of upgrading this uh, saying by <coughs> adding a word better. Actually, a word in the hand, we perceive it better than two words in a bush. And this is one of the mental things that uh, prevents people adopting new things. Mm. Yeah, this is it. Uh, and the fourth thing, the, the important thing, is that there are people in an organization whose well-being, whose status, whose money mm -hmm. is grounded into the status quo. Mm -hmm. So uh, they are not just, uh, they're not just don't want or cannot understand what is knowledge sharing, what is web to zero, but they are interested in, pe in things staying as they are, because if their well-being is grounded in this uh, old way of doing things. Uh, yeah, uh, we may actually uh, turn to a uh, second determinant, which is outcome expectations. Uh, there are... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, people expect that something that you bring in into their practice would uh, do th uh, which would make things better. So mm -hmm. the, the first expectation they will have is that the thing that you're bringing in will reduce their workload mm -hmm. rather than increase it. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that it will be more helpful than uh, it will be cooler than cooler conversations. Like it will uh, facilitate better handling their social relations, mm -hmm. uh, managing their ties with colleagues and so on. Mm -hmm. 